Hi, my name is Adrian and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to talk about creating and content. And in class, we learned about uh, how to create a content and what is so special when we want to create something creative in our content and what should be uh, the uniqueness of the content. So we learned about various ways as to how we can create a unique content and uh, after my research i found it the initial meaning of the content means like it is the process of generating ideas uh, that appeal to your bio persona creating written or visual content around those ideas making that information accessible to your audience as a blog video infographic or other format that means you are just not creating a content you are behind the curve that means your content should be so reasonable and it should be so informative to your audience that they would love to see your content and they will always uh, be engrossed to again watch your blogs or your information that you give there are five steps here which is important for the content creation which is content planning and uh, strategy, the content creation process, the content creation tool, the content plan, and analyzing what your content is. If you ace these all five steps, your content is going to be very, very meaningful and nice. Now, content marketing brings about 3x as many as leads as in trading, uh, marketing, and cost like 62% less. So, it is equal to business growth. So let's uh, see what the content planning and strategy mean. Content strategy is very important to create a content because it includes everything from brand and tone to how you will promote your content and eventually repurpose it. So this is how there is uh, many things in this website which is really good. I am uh, I am also. Uh, uh, giving the link in the description box and the thing that which really took my eyes here is here where this uh, uh, website talks about 10 things which we should know for the content strategy now as we know that content strategy is relatively very niche discipline in the digital uh, space so here there are 10 things we should know to meet the content strategy which uh, is the ultimate goal for uh, fulfilling users expectations and meeting business objectives first and foremost is content strategy requires teamwork which is very obvious because your content is not just made by you it requires the team building it requires teamwork as user experience design information copyright development seos marketing public relation business stakeholders it is a whole lot of uh, building that you have to make when your content uh, when you are making any new content for yourself or your company so like for our digital projects we first assemble a crux team we assign one and we have a senior person from creative and we have senior person from the ux that's how the whole project is worked second so the bottom bottom line for that is you should have a good content strategy which requires team efforts from all your peer disciplines all from all your peer members second is uh, consider content and the people that create your content that means that by keeping the workflow and governance factor in mind when uh, developing a content strategy we can develop uh, more useful and uh, more usable content to online audience while meeting our business objective now there is a diagram here showed which is known as halverson's content strategy framework which is known as the quad which includes substance structure workflow and governments now this is the very interesting diagram i came across which 
means that we have to take care of all those uh, components when we create our uh, content which is substance that shows tones, styles, what message we actually need to communicate to our audience structure is how we prioritize and break up the content into building blocks or people components that means we should know what structure we are following to get to that content the third is workflow where the process tools and resources we need to create and maintain content governance is integrity and the quality consistency of our content should be very niche so you know all in all that means uh, the content will help in meeting users expectations and achieving business objective by this diagram that we see here i'm putting the link of this website also in the uh, description below you can check out there are very interesting things that uh, it says here which is third matching your writing to your audience literacy level that means you cannot just put your uh, uh, you cannot just put your uh, level of writing more or high compared to your uh, audience's literacy level that means your audience should understand your language which should be very simple and clear and your low and high literacy users will thank you for it because actually they will understand what you put so you have to match the uh, audience's understanding to your content the basic w's and h that is nothing but why what who where how when that means we should know the business cases we should we should have the questions like why we are doing this project what is the message who is the audience where will this may message be read how should the uh, structure the content and when the timing of the process should be created so the 5h 5 uh, w and h provides a checklist to ensure that your content is covering all the bases the last is voice and tone matter now you should always be very careful with the voice and tone matters you sh you cannot just pitch your voice high or very low that your you know your audience is not going to understand what you're saying so that is really important here the other things which i found it very interesting in my research is uh, there is this website that says three tips while uh, every content writer should know the first i will go through very fast the first is inspired is your passion and inside action that generally means that our content should be very inspirational it should evoke passion it should be uh, inspirational ignite a fire so strong that they feel compelled to act and read on and sit up and fall over to feel something and to do something because our content is nice they want to they want to know it the audience want to see it. second is stop Think plan before you write that means before putting anything you have to you have to have a plan you have to know what you're writing you have to do what you're doing you have to create a small mini plan or rough work that you have to do before doing any kind of content third is align your content to the business goal you should know what your business goals are before putting anything before putting any of your content here and you should know what your company really cares about what you see you really cares about so for uh, for to gain customers retain royalty business growing making money everything your content should be well aligned so thank you guys for uh, listening to it i'm putting the description below to see uh, if you want to know the detailed work Thank you very much.